I'm G with the Roma G's Botanica and today we're going to learn how to use a pendulum. This should be a pretty quick class because they're not hard to do. Um, there are many different ways that you can actually um, use a pendulum as far as what, what energy is behind it because different people have different ideas. A lot of people will tell you it's about tapping into your subconscious and they talk about muscle testing and all sorts of things and that's fine but the way that I was always taught is that you are communicating with your guide your spirit guide some people may say guardian angel and this is a way since normally most people can't hear them is we can communicate with them by asking yes and no questions so with a pendulum what you want to do is you want to hold it pretty secure so that you're not moving it so you don't forcibly move it you wait for it to move but the first thing you want to do is ask it which way is yes and which way is no and it could be circular so but you want to ask that first so you know um, you know the, how to get to the answer to your question so we're going to ask this pendulum today to show me which way is yes and just be patient and give it time to begin to move All right, so backwards and forwards, or forwards and backwards, is for this yes. Now please show me which way is no. And here it goes from side to side. I find this is usually true for me. Front to back is usually yes, side to side is usually no. You still may want to ask it each time, depending on who you're speaking to. So we'll ask it a, a silly question, because we are inside Aroma G's Botanica, so we're going to say, are we inside Walmart? No. I especially want you to watch my hand here to see I'm not moving this. Are we inside Aroma G's Botanica? Yes. And it's continuing to go. Different days will have different energies. I found that sometimes it will just go really, really big and usually build momentum. It just depends on, I suppose, the energy in the air, what's going on. So, pendulums were, I think originally people used. Uh, string and at the end they would place a key some people would actually remove a ring and put a ring on the end and when they started manufacturing them they were usually in the form of a little ball and now we have all sorts of ones that are usually uh, pointed some are beveled this particular one is seven different stones put together in the chakras so yes, you use it for yes and no questions. I have an interesting story of one time, this was about five years ago, we were doing the taxes for the business and there was one checkbook that we could not find, one check stub book. So what I did was I actually went to, uh, to got out the pendulum, I went downstairs and said, is the stub downstairs and the front woman said no so i went upstairs our upstairs is actually the entire length of the house one in is roy's office one in is mine so i said is it on roy's end no is it on my end yes i had already torn up that entire area five times trying to find it and i had no idea where it could possibly be so i say is it on the left side of the room uh, yes so I don't don't have to search on the right and this is like where my desk is on the left side of the room I had already looked through everything absolutely everything piece by piece paper by paper so I start to dissect the left side of the room is it on the right side of this wall no is it on the left side of this wall yes so I'm looking, there's nothing there. There's nothing normally there except a bookcase. 
So I go and stand in front of the bookcase and say, is it behind the bookcase? And the pendulum said, yes. So I pulled out the bookcase and there was the check, uh, book of check stubs laying behind the bookcase where it had fallen off. So it's another way you can actually use it to find lost objects by just process of elimination, going through and asking, is it here, is it there, is it here, just like we did. And it's a good thing because the taxes were due and we found the stub. So it's very simple, yes and no questions. And that is how you use a pentalum.